politics, entertainment stories, current affairs, and exclusive interviews. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome on The Buzz UG with, with Melanz Mino, Mino, a.k.a. Fula. Well, thank you so much for keeping it at uh, the Buzz UG. Uh, my name is uh, Melads Milo, aka Fula. And in case you haven't subscribed, uh, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Yes, I, I would like to uh, apologize. I'm sorry that I've not been giving you the information as you really want it, but it's because I've been trying to prepare for this kind of content. Yes, this is the kind of content people like. If you don't like this type of content, then I don't know what you like. Yes, yeah, so I've been trying to get ready for this, but uh, right here I am, and of course I'm going to be serving you with the best from uh, the current affairs and then from uh, the entertainment industry right here on the Buzz UG. Uh, what you have to do, make sure that you subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, Kampala Metropolitan Police Spokesperson, that is uh, Mr. Patrick Onyanko, has confirmed the arrest of uh, Ivan Wawide, the police officer who shot and killed the Indian money lender at Parliamentary Avenue over the weekend. The Indian money lender has been identified as Mr. Utam Buhantri. Now, uh, Mr. Patrick Onyanko has said that uh, Ivan Wawire, the police constable, is currently at uh, you know, the central police station in their custody. Now, if you have seen the video that has been circulating on a different social media platforms, uh, you know, Ivan Wawire is seen uh, firing multiple bullets at Mr. Buhandri Wutam at a very close range, leaving him dead. Uh, the rest of the people who were in the office are seen running out for their lives. Let's listen it to Mr. Patrick Onyango, give us more information on the arrest of uh, Ivan Wawire. And of course, uh, I'll be right back just in a bit. Today, on the 14th of May, 2023, at around 7 a.m., Wabwire was arrested in Busia municipality by the Joint Team of Security, commanded by the DPC Busia. The charge is murder charge. This was the murder by shooting, and that is the case that we have been investigating murder by shooting uh, but also nup secretary general david Luis rubonkoya and uh, also the member of parliament that is uh, barnabas tinga simile uh, had something to say about this matter let's first of all listen to them just in a bit and i'll be right back and i think uh those responsible to take decisions must urgently look at the welfare of the men and women in uniform that is why nup promised during the last election that we would pay the lowest serving military or police officer a minimum of one million uganda shillings the government did not listen to us some of us uh, the history shows that we were even uh, expelled from nrm for raising such things because we were very very uh, we were very firm about our positions. We were convinced that this would avert the crisis that we are seeing today. Well, there you go. That is uh, David Luis Rubonkoya from uh, the NUP camp and also Horrible Tinga Simire Barnabas from uh, the NRM camp, you know, giving us their opinions on the gun violence that seems to be growing right in this country, Uganda. Now, in other news, the Kampala Metropolitan uh, Deputy Spokesperson, that is uh, Luko Westjire, has confirmed that uh, the traffic police's uh, uh, spokesperson, that is uh, Farida Nambima, was attacked over the weekend uh, together with her husband in their home in Rubaga Division. And, uh, of course, the reports have indicated that uh, there were eight thugs armed with machetes and actually they also terrorized the neighbors. Uh, they targeted Nambima's guard at home and uh, they hit him on the head and uh, later this guard was pronounced dead it's very unfortunate very very unfortunate and uh, let's have a listen to mr luko Wesijire give us more information on this matter but uh, he actually said that uh, farida nambima and her husband are in a stable condition right now so we don't have to worry about anything but uh, the guard has been confirmed dead 
uh, over the weekend, that is on May 13th, at approximately, uh, we got the report at 7. Um, I think you've seen the news over the weekend. Uh, it is alleged that uh, assailants were not yet identified, who are in company of a dog uh, scaled over the fence uh, that housed uh, that housed uh, the, first, uh, the premises, they are called Kasato Estates. Uh, it had three houses, and uh, one of the houses that they targeted was one of uh, Assistant Superintendent of Police, uh, Nampi Mafarida. Uh, according to the statements we, we, we recorded, uh, the officer and the husband had screams outside and uh, while they were opening the door to investigate uh, these assailants uh, pushed the forcefully pushed themselves inside the house and started demanding for money and other items uh, we have uh, totaled up to the we have totaled up the items that were stolen to nine million that includes uh, a samsung phone uh, an iphone a flat screen tv a handbag containing money close to 300,000 <coughs> and uh, they later on fled the scene leaving a panga behind so they were armed with pangas of course our officers our officer and husband were uh, assaulted uh, but uh, it should be noted that uh, the guard the premise the guard who, the guard who guards the premises uh, one into Sarongo Matia he was targeted first and uh, hit with a blunt object on the head and after everything was calm the landlord of the premises came and uh, rushed the victim to the Waga hospital unfortunately the hospital informed them that the, inj the injuries he had sustained were severe and while they were transferring him to Mulago uh, he succumbed to the injuries so this is a murder that is being investigated in relation to the aggravated robbery that uh, took place uh, against our officer. Uh, more details will be availed. We were able to recover the panga that was abandoned and it has been exhibited and brought here to officers for analysis. So the officer is safe and uh, was assaulted but didn't uh, get uh, severe injuries as a result of the assault. Well, there you go. Uh, that is uh, the latest update from uh, that side. We hope that uh, these people are arrested and uh, may the soul of uh, the deceased rest in peace. That is the latest update on the Buzz UG. In case you have anything you want to say about these stories, make sure that you put it down in the comment section. But most importantly, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fula, and it's a bye for now. Thank you.